Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you so much for watching, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Um, first, I want to say happy Monday to everybody. I hope everybody's enjoying their day, relaxing, all that good stuff. Okay, y'all? Being safe. Okay? Um, I want to talk about Finesse Two Times performance that took place last night in Dallas, Texas, y'all. And I want y'all to pay attention to something. I've been telling you all for the longest that, you know, labels have been in cahoots with each other. And they're playing chess with a lot of artists. Okay, y'all? I've been telling y'all this. Okay? Um, so, you know, Finesse did a show last night in Dallas. And after he did his performances, or the people that, you know, had actually talent did their performances, they threw some trash on you know the stage y'all this is what i'm hearing it threw trash after finesse two times performance now i want y'all to take this the wrong way i want you all to understand the trash that was threw on the stage was another artist that they put up there now i'm gonna tell y'all this if i was you know a manager or you know, over someone's career that actually had talent, there's no way I would put them on the ticket with somebody that don't, okay? So that that alone tells you that um, CMG and Mob Ties is pushing Trash Boy's career, okay? And if you're not pushing somebody's career because they have talent, then you have to be pushing their career for another agenda, okay? And I keep telling y'all this. Um, for the love of me, I don't understand why everybody is moving the way they're moving right now after Dolph was taken out. That's number one. Okay. I don't understand that. I don't understand why T.I. and Boosie and all these different people wasn't moving around in Memphis the way they're moving around in Memphis now. Okay. What was it about Dolph and his team? that had people not want to come to Memphis, but after he's taken out. Now, everybody's trying to get a piece of Memphis. Okay, y'all? I want y'all to pay attention to this mess because, you know, this stuff is real, what's going on, okay? Um, so after Finesse did his performance and, you know, got every all the real talent out the way, you know, word on the street is, I'm going to say allegedly I wasn't there. Word on the street is, you know, trash took the stage and they said although a few people knew the words to the song because you can't help but know the words to a song when you're paying the djs on the radio station to play your music over and over and over and over again until you reprogram people everybody that were fans of mo3 everybody that were fans of young doll people are getting reprogrammed right now they're playing over and over and over again everybody that allegedly played a part in taking these artists out they're pushing their music now on the radio station and it's not just in memphis and dallas they're pushing their 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 you know bubblegum songs all over the place they're paying djs after dj oh they coming out their pockets to you know get this music played and it's trash it is trash. But if you hear something over and over again, you end up learning the words to it, even if you don't even like the song. See, a lot of people that I know, they don't even listen to the radio no more. They don't listen to it because they're tired of people pushing careers of people that don't mean, a, you know, no good to the communities, okay? So a lot of people, they don't even listen to the radio. But the ones that do, that's just desperate that they got to have something playing in their ear. Even if they don't have, you know, some kind of stream that they could put to the car or whatever, whatever. They'll go ahead and listen to this music anyway. So it's like a pro reprogramming. 
if all you hear is, you know, trash boy song all day, even though you don't like it, even though you don't might not even like him. People knew the song. A lot, you know, some people knew the song. But word on street is the whole vibe changed when he hit the stage. This is what I'm hearing. That people didn't wasn't really feeling him. And, you know, I know that this has a lot to do, allegedly, y'all, with the street pharmacy stuff. It has a lot to do with that. This is why, you know, uh, Mob Taz, allegedly, and CMG, allegedly, is, you know, um, trying to help push this guy's career now. The trash boy career. Because they want his hookups from, you know, the Mexico stuff. And they want his hookups with the police that they have in their back pockets, y'all. Okay? So, um, this is one of the reasons why they're helping push this guy's career. And I want y'all to pay attention to something, okay? Pay very close attention, all right, to the fact that of the people who are pushing the career. Okay? I told y'all they were lining up Dolph a year before he was even taken out. He was being lined up. He just didn't know it. I Go put, pull up the video. I did it. Of Dolph being lined up a year ago. Pull that video up that I, I did. And you will see they were already lining him up. It's not no coincidence that all of a sudden now you know, Trash Boy is buddy buddy with CMG now. They've been buddy buddies, okay? Um, it's not no coincidence that um they're buddy buddy with Montez. I told y'all that was all the connection. I showed y'all the pictures of Soulja Boy and Trap, all these people in cahoots with each other. So this should not surprise you that they're trying to push this guy's career on the backs of somebody like Finesse two times. And and like I said, you know, um, he thinks that they're pushing his career because, you know, he's part of the team right now. Okay? They're using him. They're using him. If they wanted, if they had Finesse two times best interest at heart, I don't care what nobody said. If I'm selling a ticket to fans, I'm putting somebody on that ticket that I can be proud of that's out here with my artist. I'm not going to put somebody out here that nobody even likes his songs. And real rappers don't even really like Trash Boy's songs. They don't. They know he don't have talent. But they're going along with this mess in the public. I told y'all, I have done um, my own little research and talked to different guys. And they said that's nothing that they would listen to that he puts out. It's garbage. This is how that they talk about his music. Um, they're trying their best to shove him, you know, in everybody's faces and in everybody's ears. And... Could this backfire? Ask yourself this question. Could this stop people from even wanting to buy tickets of an artist like this that has a lot of talent? Just for the fact that they're throwing, you know, trash on the ticket with him, y'all. Why not give people their money's worth? Why not give them artists that they actually want to hear? You know... It's crazy how people think that they're doing something big, but then it explodes right in their faces, y'all. This guy just got out of jail. He's he's hot right now. Why make him step a notch down by putting people on the ticket that nobody wants to listen to? Hmm, y'all. Do they figure that People don't know what they want to hear. Uh, it, you know, they're going to make people hear what they want you to hear. They're going to make you accept what you want to, what they want you to accept. Because this is what it's looking like to me, y'all. 
this is exactly what this is looking like. This looks like mob ties. This looks like CMG. And this also looks like Dallas PD. Allegedly. It's trying to push, you know, trash down everybody's, you know, in their face and in their ears. And they want to make you all accept them. They want you all to forget about what they did, allegedly. A part that they played in two artists being taken out. Not one, but two big artists that were taken out. Not just not just them, it's, it's been others. But the main ones that everybody that, you know, um, made a big impact on a lot of people were Dolphin Mo3 being taken out over something dumb. Over something so stupid as not being able to share the spotlight with them. They're expecting Mo3 fans to um, forget about him. Forget he even existed. Forget who all was involved in what, you know, the part that was played. They want everybody to forget about it. They want everybody to forget about who played a part in Dolphs being taken out. They want everybody to act as if these artists' life never happened. It never took place. And they want to shove somebody down our ears that we don't want to listen to. They can, they want to pay off every DJ they possibly can on the radio to make them play songs we don't want to listen to. They want to put them on tickets with people that we actually want to listen to to make you accept them. Will this, y'all let me know in the comment section. Will this help or will this harm artists that you really want to listen to, but they keep shoving other non-talented artists with them and making you feel like, you know, you are being made to listen to these people. The only good thing that took place last night at the performance that I'm hearing is um, a lot of people are saying that they put the trash on last so that, Everybody that came out to actually hear real talent, they let them win first. And they put the trash last. So that they, you know, you could get your money's worth. And if it, it was your choice, if you wanted to get up and leave or not, when they put others up out there. This is what, you know, I'm hearing. This was the only good thing about the performance. That they didn't, they wasn't made to listen to him. If they wanted to get up and leave after that was over, then fine. Y'all, this is crazy. This is crazy. And it's just like I told y'all. From the looks of things. It looks as if. Dirty cops. Uh, the commissioner and his boys. Allegedly. You know, they're all trying to help push. Trash. Career. This is what it's looking like. They had, you know. He had new music coming out. They had him on every news station as if they were going to really, you know, the feds was really about to do something. And they turned around and let him go just so that he can perform. Okay, y'all? They're trying to pump this person up in any way that they possibly can. And they're trying to make people accept. Not give you your choice as to who you want to really listen to. They're trying to shove this person in your face, in your ears, and make you listen to it. Y'all, I'm hearing so much stuff about the whole vibe changed when he came to the stage. And this is where he's from. If they're doing this where he's from, and they don't want to listen to this guy, how do you think other cities and states feel about him? But they're working, they're working overtime to make fans of Mothries, fans of Young Dolph, forget about everything that has taken place. And now they're to just accept something. 
And, and y'all, please, like I said, let me know in the comment section, how do you all feel about this? Do you all feel like, and most of the guys, you know, I really want to hear, you know, what your, your thoughts on this. Because a lot of guys is into rap and stuff like that. I know, I know females are into it too, but I'm not, y'all let me know. Do y'all think that them putting, you know, trash on the ticket would um, finesse is a good thing? Is this hurting or helping his career or is not affecting him at all? Because eventually they're going to be moving him around on that ticket. They're going to, you know, put him up in the middle and they're going to try to make you listen to him. I know that might be people's bathroom break and they might want to just to go to the bathroom and come back and, you know, but eventually they're going to move him from the end of the concert and saving the, the worst for last and they're going to start trying to dip him in the middle to make him, you know, fit in with the whole thing. And do y'all feel that, you know, this would be something they should be doing? Or will people just not buy a ticket just because of what they're trying to shove, you know, shove down, you know, everybody's? attention span ask yourself this question y'all but anyway i just want to let y'all know what was going on okay and i don't know if y'all heard about charleston but he apologized for his little outburst of telling on telling on um trap them okay and all the stuff that they were into and doing and this net net and this he backtracked y'all so a lot of people saying that he got scared that somebody must have, you know, gave him a little phone call or, you know, some, some, and he changed his whole story. He did a, um, he did a, um, Countdown John move. Okay. You remember when Countdown John jumped on their social media and was like, when he got mad at rain and he was like, he told me, you know, he set up Mo3. Remember that, y'all? And then he jumped on that later and said, oh, he lied about everything. <laughs> so, now we have Charleston White doing the same thing, saying that you know, he was just a little upset, blowing off a little steam, that, you know, he don't really want to clean up the streets. Now, he changed his mind. Y'all, these people are hilarious. Y'all. And the control that they have is, is is crazy. But the good thing about Dallas, everybody ain't going along with this mess. A lot of people's not going along with this mess. There's a lot of people that live in Dallas, and they're saying that, you know, trash can't come in all the neighborhoods in Dallas. That this is all trying to just pump him up. But he know where he can, he's, you know, allowed to come to and where he can't so it's certain areas he can't even go to so they don't have all the pool over dallas the way they want to make it seem as if everybody is scared of him okay y'all everybody is not and it's a lot of areas down there that trash boy stays away from y'all but for some reason now the industry is trying very hard to shove him in everybody's faces. And everybody's a little bit sick of it, okay, y'all? Um, how long is they going to let him, you know, ride the skirt tail of finesse, okay? Is this what they just using him for? Sell tickets and throw non-talented people on there? <laughs> Y'all, this is starting to be a clown show. Okay, y'all? Just stay tuned. We're going to see how long is this going to, you know, continue. Because this could possibly be hurting finesse, y'all. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you so much for watching, y'all.